Right, the relief doesn't fit because we haven't actually cast the mold yet. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Village. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pour the molten metal into the mold, cast it, and get our relief so we can move on with the factory. Relief of a horse. Seems useful. I think I'm noticing a theme here. Yeah, it's the glowing eye. That small little glowing dot. Seems to pop the metal headband right off. What in the hell is that? Oh! There's another horse door. So, there's the relief. Uh, that was the symbol on his flask. And now the door. Heisenberg's a uh, bit of a horse boy, huh? He's really into horses. Maybe we'll get to fight a sick mecha horse? Executioner's Chariot, but make it techno-dystopic. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, and of course, he loves Bloodborne. Heisenberg loves him some Bloodborne. Big Bloodborne fan. So he must really love Ludwig. This is really reminiscent of Dead Space 1, I want to say. Oh, there's another one. Really close. Two? Okay. Oh, no. Got spooky for a second. But these aren't too dangerous. I think the things in here that I really have to be worried about are... are the dudes with the drills. Oh, pop, pop. Oh, now we have to body. <laughs> here. We're just going to wait for it to slow down at the apex of its rotation. Find the best spot to pop those without wasting bullets missing. Okay. Oh, there's still one more. Where's this one? Ah. Crouching down helps. Wait, this looks kind of familiar. Am I wrong? Yeah, I think I'm wrong. Oh. Oh! Must have backed into it and triggered the Oh. This is a classic. Which one of you is coming to life? None of you? None of you, huh? Oh, is this the shortcut back to the foundry? Cool. This is such a good, creepy area. Ah, oh, God, I love this level. See, I'm down to three. I think I'm still fine. I could have also used a mine and just shot it. And what do we have? Some shotgun ammo? I'll take that. And then what's in here? Mechanical part cylinder. 
Is that? Yes, it is. And it's another combinable. I have a bad feeling that we missed one of the gems for the necklace. Still, we found a majority of what there is to find aside from goats, I assume. Like, we missed, what, one fish so far and maybe a gem for the necklace? That's not too bad. This is going to be a really spooky pop-off because of how labyrinthine this area is. I can already tell I'm going to get stuck on something trying to run. Okay, how do we open you up? Looks like I probably have to get the power back on first. I wonder what's up with these doors. Like, what is the point of them existing? Just to waste a very small amount of your ammo. Okay, how big is this area? Pretty large, actually. There's still quite a bit to do. Oh, I was I was chomping at the bit for another another really meaty area to, to sink my teeth into. Mechanical Soldier Soldat, version 1.0. Fully grown male corpse used, removed heart, implanted Kado. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct and then stops. Soldats. Uh, version 1.01. .01. Attached headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirmed stable brainwaves. Experiment 1. Lichen fight. Was dismantled, eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. 1.10. Replace lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps? 1.15. Implanted Kado reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Who's this gonna be? Hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. This time, for sure. No. A lot of restraint. It's missing a cog. Okay. I'll just run back upstairs and do this little loop. Oh! <laughs> Completely ramp past the briefcase. So I have to go mold the cog. Okay. So I guess I run through here and then go back away. Yep, 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 yep. Second time through. Wonder if he can follow me in here. Guess we'll find out. Yup. But we have a lot of space and a lot of tables to kite him around. Yeah, a lot of spaces to get stuck on. Ah oh, shit. Sidestep the one. 
We're also being nice and time efficient. The mold machine was going, casting the uh, the cog mold while we're fighting. <laughs> That's a long, elaborate animation. Use this. I'm very pleased that you can pick the mines back up. So I found out what those glowing locks in the doors are for. They're to slow you down if you're trying to run from a, from the soldats with the drills. This is not... Ooh! I didn't realize there was another one. Shit, good lord. Oh, wait. That was more of a bomb than an EMP. This one flew off the rails. Okay. Off him in the reactor as much as I can. One more. Okay. What were we what were we even about to do in here? Oh. That's where that third one died. Been waiting for some interesting new enemies. I actually quite like the soldats. The thought that I was in the middle of before was that uh, this factory seems to be quite extensive and expansive, uh, which is very nice to to figure out given that Moreau's area was kind of uh, anticlimactic. And the section that we got before that, despite being very good, was also a very bite-sized sequence. So I'm glad we're getting another more meaty section of the game. There's 
still even more. These shouldn't be too bad, though. These are just the regular old zombie soldats. Oh, it does act like an explosion, just not for the more mechanized ones. For them, it just makes them kneel over uh, and exposes them for a couple of shots. Grungy aesthetic here. <laughs> and the absurd amount of ordinance you get. That being said, it's starting to get a little bit low on handgun ammo, but I have a lot of crafting material to fall back on that I've built back up. Quite a lot of red. It's a lot of area to cover, and I don't know that I'm fully interested in covering all of it. That must be where they got the propeller for our friend the fan lad. Wait, can we get back here? Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Hello? Whoop. Yeah, they are to slow you down. Okay. Did he not catch up to me yet? Oh, there he is. He took the other way around. Mind if I do, I'll come back for that one and loop around. Now we can just go in circles with him. <laughs> and if I. Oh, it's this room! Now that we have the power back on, we can hit the button. I guess he's not coming through here. Okay. So what exactly does this open up to us? This must be a pretty significant chunk of the area that's opened up. Just judging by that map that we got. Oh, it's on the back. Okay. It's harder for them to protect, it's just harder to get to in the first place. A pretty good way for us to do this, though. Boom. We get more than one. Oh, it didn't take more than more than that one shot. That one extra. Large crystal mechanical heart and a bunch of regular ones. So far, so good. And this is why we, of course, always keep Knifey around. He's our best buddy. Oh! You again? <laughs> God. Can you get through? He tried. All he could do was make a dent, though. Okay, so we have time to catch our breath. Oh, 
Oh, we're back out here. Oh. This looks very close to where we started this off. Oh. That's because we are. We're the floor above where we started? Yeah. Oh, radical. I've expanded my services. Please, come take a look. Yeah, I bet he has. Seeking something in particular. More new supplies? Plus, we have the guns that I haven't picked up yet. And a lot of treasure to... Pay me no mind. ...use to buy some of those. Thank you for and, of course, patronage. we have our own guns to sell. I'm going to actually look into the guns um, in a moment. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.